Hello, today you're going to learn how to get autocomplete for Maven dependencies inside IntelliJ IDEA. Let's check it out. Now, whenever you're inside a Maven project, what some people might know already is that when you go to the dependency section, hit Alt Insert, you can actually insert dependencies. And then you have a search for artifact and search for class tab here. But the problem is by default, IntelliJ will only search through your local Maven index. And what you can do instead is open up settings, then search for Maven here. I have the page already open. So you search for Maven, go to the repositories menu item, and then you'll see your local repository here. That's me, marco.m2 repository. And you'll also see your, or many actually, Maven repositories, remote Maven repositories. You can hit update and don't worry, it will take, if you do it the first time, it will take ages. And by that, I mean like 10 minutes or 15 minutes. And you might even get memory consumption problems if you have IntelliJ configured with uh, too low memory settings. In any case, you can see I updated my repo today or my index actually. So I can click OK, go back to the dependency section, hit Alt Insert, and now imagine I know already artifacts. I want to have Apache Commons Lang, the library. I just enter Commons Lang in here, and then I'll get Commons Lang 26, 25, 241, everything there is I could add. And uh, as you could see, if I just have a dash here, you'll see Bean Utils. I see all different versions commons attributes, so commons collections, the different libraries here, you have even more versions and uh, pretty much everything you want. Now the search is sometimes a bit off. So if I want to add the H2 database, you can see H2, you don't see anything here, but if I put H2 database inside, you'll suddenly see, aha, there's the H2 database and uh, you have all the different versions up to 1.0.57. Now, searching by artifact is quite nice. You can also search for classes. Imagine you know a class, you wanna have one like, like a JDBC driver. And um, when you search for driver and you can see there's a driver class inside org h2, also inside the MySQL connector, also inside, I think the Postgres connector, Derby connector, whatever. You could also, in theory, search by class and add the dependency by um, class. And that's pretty much all you need to know. As always, a nice and short practical trick. Stay tuned for the next trick next Monday, where I think we're going to talk a bit more about debugging again. Stay tuned.